And sitting pretty, sitting pretty, sitting pretty, sitting pretty. Why can't what? keeping it real be classy? Okay. Why can't keeping it real be let me hold my peace and let me move on? Why can't keeping it real be, you know what? They may have done that, but I'm going to respect them and move forward. Why can't that be keeping it real? Right, 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 right. Hey, you. Are you looking for a licensed cosmetologist who specializes in natural hair and locks? Well, go see J.J. Wesley at Naps by J. She'll take care of all your natural hair needs. Book your appointment now. Call 602-955-0646. The number again is 602-955-0646. And remember to always keep it nappy. Welcome to episode 38 of, you guys already know what I'm about to say. Sitting pretty and keeping, keeping it real. real. Ooh. Woo-hoo. Yo, okay, let's pipe, let's pipe it up a little bit. Come on now. Okay, I'm doing time. great right now, okay? I had a long eight hours at work, so I think okay. I'm doing great right we now. Go. Okay, we ain't gonna get Y'all don't that. think we doing good? Uh, I thought we were. I yeah. thought we were. I thought we I was came being fancy. Sync. I we came were synchronized. Yeah. Yeah. So I should be able to like hear you through the earphones and it should scare me. So that didn't happen. Sitting pretty and keeping, keeping it, it real. real. Okay, that was a little bit better. I heard it in y'all voices. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Now I need to go puff my interview. See, she's bossing us around She the boss. She the boss. She the boss. Man, all right. Tonight we have with us Mr. TJ Supa and Mr. Wade. You guys what's want to happening? Go ahead and introduce what's yourselves? Wade. Yo, what's good? TJ Supa Dupa, Radio Supa, <laughs> Radio. Rock the Mike Show. <laughs> Live from the Fortress. AKA, AKA Simon Phoenix. <laughs> wow. AKA Goku Black. <laughs> <laughs> Son of L. I'm in the building with my man Wade. You got 9,000 names. Yeah. Yeah, it's like Apollo Creed. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That's why I date tonight. We rubbing elbows. We need to make up one tonight. Now, did you make up all those names yourself or people gave them to you? They just, they just, you know, they just accumulated. Over time. So you stack. just couldn't Over pick time. one? I just, now you got to you got to run with all of them. And how you they, remember they, all of them? If they match, you know, they just match and attach and then, <laughs> and that's just what it is. That's okay, I'm going to so have all I my names. I got all my names. I got me. Can I go now? Oh, yeah. 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 I got one. I only have one, but I'm going to give him DJ Kula because he's a cool one. He's a cool since he's walking well, in the door. I'm going to be like him. I need to be like him. Boss moves. Oh, okay. yeah. Boss moves. <laughs> I all over his face. <laughs> Man, all righty. You ladies want to go around the table? I feel like an alcoholic. Look at my drink. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, yeah. it's yeah. good. <laughs> it's Kimmy. Well, how pretty is that? It's T to the E. It is Sassy B. She's it back in the house. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. you've been going for a long month. time. She was it's been almost, a whole month. Yes, she back now. Yeah. Hold on, back, but it came back with Sassy B, uh-huh. Coco B, <laughs> <laughs> Sassy <laughs> Sips by B, okay. Miss B. Okay. Where the hell was you at once? And don't mess with the B. <laughs> Wait a minute, she been gone for a month. You and I got all these names? What yeah. you doing? That's what you've been doing for a month. Okay, right. I had it. Well, it took me all this time to come up with all this names. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't ask me next week because I'm not going to remember them. No, no, no. <laughs> I like those AKAs. That's yeah. good for yeah. you. Nice. I'm going to take a month off and make me some more. <laughs> <laughs> Man, and this your girl, Navarra and the K. We, unfortunately, we are missing. Ooh, shoot, my hat got in the way. We are missing Miss Queen B tonight. That's the. That's the little B. Yes. <laughs> oh, are you the big B? I'm the older B. No, I wasn't talking about size. Oh, I mean, okay. like being a bigger like bitch. Yeah. Okay. No, I am never that. Ooh, okay. watch that now. Oh, I hate that word. Okay, okay. that okay. Okay. stand for Brittany and stand for um. Yeah. Brittany. Oh, mm-hmm. oh I didn't know. Oh, yes. Well, we're missing this queen B tonight. I got you, Mickey. <laughs> we will see you. Yeah, we got you, Mickey. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> I was like, you got your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Mickey? <laughs> oh, Mickey, he's so, Mickey, he's so oh, funny. Mickey, he's so funny. He's so funny. He's y'all aging like y'all so. I don't hey, know. Mickey. I don't know that song. <laughs> Young for that song. Yeah. Okay, all right. Let's start. What okay. are we sipping on for the night? I know some people are already almost I'm finished done. with their drinks. That's oh, look at it. Somebody wrench, wrench, wrench it around. <laughs> we have sweet chili martinis. Sassy B, you want to go ahead? Yes. They're Tonight good. we're sipping on a sweet chili martini. Mm. We will be munching on, because some people need them. Uh, <laughs> 
I got that much. Oh, y'all funny. I got that the first time. I'm good. I did it. I'm good. <laughs> we'll be much for our our halftime. We'll be having taco salads mm-hmm. with all of the toppings. Mm-hmm. And she got some cookies in there too. Oh, Freshly I forgot. Baked. They homemade cookies. Freshly baked. Oh yeah, we, we we went to the bakery today. No, you baked them yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so we would have got the. Can dough. we get a live straight? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so, know, I just told them. Oh my god! So we got some freshly baked cookies from the store, <laughs> <laughs> which are chocolate so chip and white chocolate mm. macadamia. Man, mm. hey, y'all gotta see this stuff, man, for real. Y'all gotta see. What they, 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 these are people right here that's talking all the shit. <laughs> <laughs> talking much shit tonight. Wait a minute, why you put this on blast? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my shit about to go there. Y'all lucky. <laughs> no, you lucky. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go off for the hot topics tonight. Well, no, we're not going to start off with the hot topics. How is everyone's day so far? I'm doing good. Your day's been good? Yeah, I'm doing great. Were you ha- did you I'm happy to be here, though. Okay, thank you. For real, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate it's that. It's a pleasure. Well, thank you. TJ Super? This is good stuff. I mean, uh, we're <laughs> looking forward to this. We're looking forward to this. I talked to my man YD about it. He's like, yo, let's go over there. They made Mexican food for us. Let's go save this on dinner. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. And the martinis. Right. I said they got drinks over there. He said, okay, cool. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just like family. Yeah. We just like family. Yeah. Yeah. So we hear and stuff like that. You know? And they're from the south side. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Don't get it twisted. Ladies oh, 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 sorry. You too. Double yeah. Okay. yeah, at some point, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, everybody so originally, so originally, originally, well, because if you lived in Phoenix, you were either behind the Capitol or on the South Side. So, so it was West side. side or South Side. So. And they know their history, too. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. Don't mess with us today. Don't mess with us today. You look familiar, though. Really? I swear, you do. I got oh. people's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I, 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 I have people's. <laughs> Yes, I do. I do have peoples. peoples. We all have peoples. I got some peoples. We (laughs) might drink martinis. We have peoples. Yeah, we have peoples. All right. So I have a fun question just to ask y'all, just as a starter. Oh, but you didn't ask us about our day. You, I was waiting for you to go. Okay. Oh, so my day, I did put myself on timeout earlier today when I was at work. The people pissed me off, so I needed timeout. Okay. Then I got over it, and it's been great ever since. No, I learned when I need to put myself on timeout. I, t- I snapped at a couple of people. See, I couldn't go on timeout. I had to just take deep breaths. No, like, I'm not oh. faded, bro. <laughs> you and your Tourette's outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sassy. Go ahead. Yeah, but I got over. I got over myself. I just had to take break, breaks and take deep breaths because it was a long work day. It was. A it was. Long, it was a long it, work but week. I knew it was all good. Yeah. What do y'all do for work? Wait, well, we good? don't talk about that on here. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. You don't yeah. talk about what you do for work. No, not on our podcast. No. But you no. ask me what I do for work, though. Yeah, we didn't but, but you're an artist, though. But huh? we didn't say everything was on the table for us. Yeah. It was just about so you. You chose to tell us everything. But we didn't look after work to your podcast. You can ask us those questions. But afterwards, yes, we. Yeah, you can ask us. It's just that we may get into conversations. And, stuff that we and I separate church to. and state. Oh, I work. <laughs> yeah. Somebody that's want to take in the bathroom real quick, something like to that. To do what in the bathroom? <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, oh, they could have went a whole nother way. I'm like, wow, we gotta work with that. <laughs> 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 we gotta get started. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I wanna hear y'all. I don't hear know where right y'all there. at. Y'all here. Y'all, y'all be over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we both say, yeah. yeah. My yeah. day was excellent getting prepared for today. Mm-hmm. Oh, you was Tonight. off today? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was at work mad shit. Well, I wasn't at work. I hung out. Oh, wait, I had to deal with my car today, too. So Uh, that wasn't fun. Yeah. And you hung out all day, too. Yeah, so my day was pretty darn chill. Okay, I have a quick question to ask y'all. It's just simple. Just maybe, maybe, I feel like this can, I feel like this can tell um, us a lot about each other. So which do you prefer, apple juice, orange juice, or cranberry juice? Cranberry juice. Cranberry? It's It's a trap. Yeah, cranberry juice. Why <laughs> cranberry juice? Because it'll clean you out. Oh, you're mm-hmm. right about that. It's good for your, Apple juice your, your liver and your kidneys. Mm-hmm. That's true. Cranberry it juice is, is good for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, 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 I'd probably go apple. Apple and then cranberry. And then cranberry? I go all three. Mm, mix <laughs> Orange juice again. from mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> Orange <laughs> Cranberry juice, 
just because I'd rather have that for breakfast and then apple juice just because it depends. Um, for me, it would be cranberry juice because, like you said, it cleans out your um, kidney. Mm -hmm. um, orange juice for <laughs> mimosas. <laughs> And then apple juice if you gotta go to the bathroom. But don't you mix that with your apple with the apple crown royal too? Yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. I would I like orange juice in the morning. That would be my choice. And they say it's good for your stomach. I'm trying to get a washboard. Great <laughs> <Grapefruit juice. laughs> <laughs> <Grapefruit. laughs> Then I'm gonna go do a couple sit ups and then I'll be good. Oh man. Is that all it takes? Yes, all it takes. You got fruit. Bam, next time you'll see me washed. <laughs> you better be bam right. <laughs> I'm gonna be bam, be bam, bam, baby. <laughs> Cranberry juice. I just like how tart it is. Mm -hmm. Makes you go yeah. every time you taste it. <laughs> yeah, it's too tart, but I do like it. Yeah, I think cranberry juice is my favorite. Okay. Moving on. This is a quick, not a quick question, but so it's initially for the ladies, but since we have two men at the table tonight, it would just be flip flop. Okay. Huh? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. So just be if, afraid. Yeah. If you were to, <laughs> if you were to win 50 million in the lottery, correct? Mm hmm. Can your boyfriend or girlfriend quit their job, or does he have to continue to work you because you work? How long you been with him? Good shit. He ain't get my fucking money. Y'all go first. first. <laughs> I don't have a question. Do y'all need me answer. to repeat the question? No. Nah, oh, you in a new relationship? Do tell. Nah, that's not <laughs> <right. laughs> After taxes. Yeah. She wouldn't have to do the job that she was doing then, but she's still gonna have to work. Because the fifty million gonna have to we're gonna have to make, make some more money. money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she'll have a different job. Just a different So like maybe something like her passion or something like that, is that what you mean? No, nah, how we got the fifty million, we gotta figure it out. The passion and stuff that you know, sometimes No, that, but I'm saying like so say if she works a nine to five now and uh, then you won fifty million, would you still want her to work a regular job or would you want her to do something her own more business. toward her own business like and her passion? Her business. She'll be in live umbrella. Whatever we doing, she'll just get a job title. Mm -hmm. gotcha. 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 You know what I'm saying? But she'll have to work though, still. Something. She'll have to do something. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna be gotcha. laying around here all day. Work, huh? Okay, so was, um, golly, for me, it, you know, it depends on how much time they put in. Mm -hmm. It really does. If it's somebody that I was with for a long time, you know, then, then they could quit their job. Mm -hmm. If it's somebody I just started dating, nah, yeah, nah. They gotta, gotta keep working? Yeah, you gotta keep working. You gotta work like extra that. hard then. Because then they'll just probably be just using you for your money yeah. at yeah, that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, gotta, they gotta earn that spot. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. nice good answer. Kind of spot. You have such good answers. That's not a good <laughs> spot. That's boss man over there. <laughs> boss moves. Uh, with nine thousand names, uh. <laughs> aka that one thousand, aka one thousand. Me, um, he could quit. He would be able to quit his job, regardless of how long I've known him. Because if you quit your job, we break up. That's revenge all its own. Oh, <laughs> oh. 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 she's evil. She's evil. She's so goddamn evil. You're so evil. I never would have thought of that. Because then we got to start out like Exactly. Already. And you ain't got no money. You ain't got no job. That's all right. When he quit his job. <laughs> I'm ready to get shit. So I'm gonna get some work. At first, I'm getting ready to be like, you know what? What's what her number? <laughs> no, you don't want it. Hey, shit, you that That's nice. awesome. I love that one. That's great. But that's, that's so mean. Stuff. That's not My me. Phone didn't you need to. Die. If you, if I let you quit your job, then you need to make sure you're doing everything that you need to be doing to stay in this relationship. Mm. Oh, that's fucked but up. Then the, mm. So it's like he's working for you. Mm. Not necessarily. Well, no, but I'm saying my biggest thing. You're not working for me, but I, I, I do demand loyalty. I demand all these things, and you knew this before I got the money. So you just need to continue. It. So would you give him a check weekly? So I would give him allotment. Yeah. I'm gonna get nobody no goddamn money. No, because you don't. Have, if you give him a lump sum, then they may. Oh, we not get no lump. But why are you giving him your money? 
He's but not- Tracy, answer your question, please, so I can get to mine. Oh, Lord, because she over there oh, patting her hair. She, she mine kinda would be, I'm kind of with Super with that. If I've been with you for Super a long Super time, yeah. then definitely you can quit your job. But if you like Wale over there. <laughs> Did you call him Wale? <laughs> you called him man Wale. That's the no, I did that on purpose. Oh. I, know, I did that on purpose. I get that too. But if I'm like Wale over there in a new relationship, then no. Um, See, why do y'all, we just friends. <laughs> <laughs> right but you now. was in something new like 30 minutes ago. Oh. You said it's new. I, I, I said it's new. I didn't say relationship yeah. back then. I said oh, so it's friends. Oh, he's technical. Okay. He we technical. don't look. We don't talk about friends. Okay, so <laughs> well, if I'm at, like Wale with a friend, <laughs> then no, you can't. You can quit the job if you want to. <laughs> That's on you because we friends. Okay, so we That's have to. You, is it a husband or a boyfriend? Boyfriend. She said boyfriend. And, just say you're not giving him no money. Um, if quit. we were, if we were like in a really good relationship, yes, you can quit, but you need to figure something out to make some more money. But if we just met, you ain't getting none of my money. I'm sorry. Yeah, you ain't getting my yeah, shit. Nothing. Not nothing. The million goes really fast. If you won't, if you don't take care of it right. Because if you have the right, wrong boyfriend or girlfriend, they can spend that. They money are up. not spending up my money because I wouldn't spend up somebody else. So how would you do? Come Well then, go win that fifty well, wait, million. Then we date. No, okay. No, no, we got it. What's your name? Most most people. On What's your name? I'm Lex. Okay, Lays. we got Lays in the background. Lays. He has, he has some yeah, input. Yeah, but I'm going to say this. Baby can do whatever she want to do because most people only living off twenty three to $30,000 a year mm-hmm. anyway. Mm-hmm. And I got $50 million. That goes you fast. Though. Pay tax. You're so, a different tax bracket. No, it don't. No, we're saying after tax. Oh, you don't get taxed on your money. That's put it in the bank, you bank and then just the get the money off the interest. Oh. Right. You don't get taxed on money that you already have. Okay, so let's go in that fifty million and we dating, okay? Okay, I'm about to be we your girl. She know you ain't shit. Oh, wait, you got a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's mine already. I already claimed him. I'm sorry. The boy is mine. He's mine, ladies. We gonna talk, ladies. We gonna talk later, okay? We get the lottery tickets together. I'm gonna make you a plate. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all go yeah, look, she, can, she, she can make y'all both. She can, no, she, can, <laughs> no, she can make both our plate, and we gonna sit down and eat it together. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, I'm telling you, make she make that plate, y'all go so together. What about you? <laughs> what about you? If it was somebody I just started talking to, probably not. Hell no, we ain't. My baby ain't giving her money. That's the answer. <laughs> but if somebody I, if it's somebody that I've been with for a minute, I feel like yeah, but you still gotta have a job. Like I'm still well, gonna like he like uh Wade said, you still gonna be doing something to make this fifty million work to make more money. So gotcha. we both gonna be having a job. Or do you could invest in the business for them, yeah. but your yeah. contract state that you uh, you get like, <laughs> She got pay on paper, boy, like Hey. Ain't no I was married. born at night. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I, I would you, no, I would let you invest in whatever your dreams are, but just know if we break up, I'm still gonna be making money off of your dreams. Hmm. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's true. true. <laughs> that's true. Something like let me get away from home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He was closer to uh, Chastity in the beginning. Why you back up? Why you back up? They couldn't pay foot. They couldn't even play footsie no more. No, no, table. no, no. He gave me a pound because he agreed. So. <laughs> he agreed to get the hell away from me. <laughs> was it the push off pound? <laughs> Let's back this up. Oh, Y'all are silly. Yeah, I can't get my money out. I'm sorry. All right, it's graduation season, guys. Oh, Lord, I'm so over it. Do you guys have any graduations that you want to celebrate or give oh, any graduates any shout outs? Well, I, let me, it's, it's my son's birthday today. Oh, Happy birthday, son. Hey. Malik. Happy birthday, Malik. She's trying to sound awesome. Happy you may birthday, not hear it until Happy a while, birthday, but Happy birthday, baby. How old is he? 20. Oh, he's oh, awesome. oh, he just right. What's his fault? Petra. <laughs> That's more like Stella. No, I was thinking Petra Perfect. <laughs> what's his, what's his Instagram? Right. Wait, wait. All jokes. All jokes. Right. Wow. He's younger than my children. I That's well, he can handle himself. Shit, he oh, here's oh, the thing. That's what he wants to run. Look, you better run. You and look, and look, and put your 50 million in your pocketbook. <laughs> Bring your daddy money on home. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, so we gotta keep going. Oh, Man, 
Any other graduation shout outs? Yes, yes. I have, have my one. godson, um, Ziggy. He's graduating. And then I have Kayla graduating next week. That's your goddaughter, right? No. No, this is a friend's okay. daughter. And then I have Joy graduate. I got like five graduations, and I'm wow. over them. Because mm -hmm. they only invite you to the parties to get a gift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or the graduation. I, I, mm -hmm. think, I think we only have one. Mm -hmm. I have a niece that's graduating. Ashanti. Yes, Ashanti. Congratulations, baby. Congratulations. Ooh. Congratulations. Oh, and I forgot. Congrats. Oh. Mr. J, he graduated from kindergarten. Oh, oh. I know. Oh, so wait a minute. Shoot, when we doing all that? Yeah. Shoot. Well, it my, is a graduation. Look, my G, my, look, I don't want to say grandma. My G baby graduated. <laughs> it's the same thing. I ain't got no grandkids. I don't know what that I'm too young for that. It's the same exact oh, thing. Uh, did you have any, um, okay? Mm -hmm. you, you, you covered the one for all of us. I don't know who's graduating. Ashanti was the yeah, only one. Yeah, well, that. But other than that, I'm straight. Like, I don't know oh, that's baby. right. Mm -hmm. I forgot what you said. All right. Let's hop, skip, and jump on over to the next hot topic. Hop, skip, so, and jump with some jeans at the table. Anyways. <laughs> so, since we're um, surrounded by music tonight, what's the first song that you heard that made you fall in love with hip-hop? Oh, gosh. Why are you trying to age some people? Let <laughs> the man go. You could think. think. What's the Jeopardy like? song? I'm trying to think. What song? Oh, that's the Jeopardy theme song. Oh. No, don't give him that much pressure. <laughs> I'm trying to think, cause man, he's like, I'm only in six right minutes. Now. Six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. Yeah. On. 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 <laughs> yeah, that was like 1985, somewhere yeah. up in there. And for us, that would have been East Coast, right? Yeah, yeah. East Coast all the way. Yeah. Okay. That was East Coast. Uh, for me, the song that I uh, the song that I attribute to that is uh, it's Rock Box by Run DMC. Can you spit it a little bit? Spit it a little bit. Go ahead, spit it a little bit for me. I gotta let me get past the chorus. Uh, 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 I gotta I gotta think first. Uh, so anyway, this rock box from the MC. I remember seeing a video on uh, MTV. Mm -hmm. I think it was the first music rap mm -hmm. music video that they played on MTV. Okay. Oh, and I, okay. I saw it at uh, my mother's boyfriend's house, and it's like the whole world stopped mm -hmm. when I saw that. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think uh, I think that's what that's what definitely did it for me. That, that was the track that I attached to it. If I heard something before that, I may have, but that's the one that I attached to. to so you love for yeah. I don't know. I love so many rap songs. Mine is Rapper's Delight. Yeah, that's what I would say, too. Uh -huh. hip, 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 hip. That was, I wanted to say that, yeah. but that was just like... But still, that guy... Kind of like everybody yeah. said. Yeah, but that's it, what it was either yeah. that or Grandmaster Flash in The mm -hmm. Furious Five. So. Yeah, and then I think don't push me, because I'm, I'm close, close to the end. None of y'all didn't like White Line? Oh, line. yeah, that was mine. It was everything, so... <laughs> I think I will go with um, what Sassy B says, but then also Eric B and Rakim. That's oh, like yeah. right mm -hmm. there. I was like, oh my god, I'm about oh, to be yeah. a rapper. You was gonna be a rapper? I thought I was. Really? I didn't yeah. know that. Hold on a second. We've been friends lying. for forty thousand oh. years. Like, you like <laughs> Prince? You like Prince and Rick James? No, I'm just lying. But no, it oh. really Eric B and Rakim really made me yeah. like. Oh, I love their voices, like the raspiness. You getting excited? Yes, yeah, like, I am getting excited. What Shit. are they now? Not too long ago. And I, nobody ain't tell me. Well, who's supposed to tell you if you, they make you all yeah. excited? You yeah, should be the one now. Okay, so for me, yeah. Uh, LL Cool J, but mm -mm, he no. annoys me now. No, he annoyed me back then because you played him all the time. Oh, I couldn't stand I him. love Cool J. No, ladies, mm -hmm. this lady did I mean, <laughs> His old funny. You knew his head was shaped funny under that I mean, hat. Love. Yeah. It wasn't until he grew up. His head wasn't shaped funny. No, his head had been shaped like that since birth. Well, can I answer my question? <laughs> yeah, okay. I love all rap music, but I, I'm one that's sticking out the most is so, probably something from De La Soul. Oh, oh yeah, they were good. They lost soul is from the soul. So, yeah. Something, something. And that's a little fuzzy um, MTV little mm -hmm. video. Okay, okay. It's just me, myself, and I. I, I watch out now. Yeah. Shit. Don't, 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 So I would like to hear yours, McKay, because you're you know, so much younger I felt than so inclined to reach 
far back because I knew everybody around the table was going to be a little bit older than me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. How far she back did you reach? Oh, wait. How disclaimer. Far? She throws shots. Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 How far back did you reach? A whole tree. I feel like the farthest back I could reach. Seriously? Think about your height. No, so you short, you got short arms, you couldn't reach too far. So don't. The farthest go. back that I could reach, I was going to say a Tupac it. song, mm-hmm. Dear Mom. Okay. Right? Yeah. But then... This isn't really that far back. It's not a song that made me fall in love with hip-hop because I just love music in general, but it's one of the songs that I feel like I will always listen to. It's mm-hmm. The Life by Common. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my boo. Oh, okay. now, yeah. now, that's my boo. I like, I like Common, but <laughs> I don't I like know why you love right? Common. That's a really hard question to say. <laughs> what song made you fall in love with hip-hop? I, I felt bad for you guys answering it because I even had time to think on it and I still couldn't come up with like It's very hard answer. because there's like different stages, I feel Yeah, because like. yeah, I think... Rapper's Delight was when I was really, really young. Really and young. then when I was in my prime high school, then it's somebody it, it was else. something different. Yeah. Right. yeah so. Yeah, right, and was, then we yeah. had, when we became adults, that's when like then, Biggie. Yeah. Or and then Tupac, it's yeah. something different. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't know what they're saying. No, there are some artists we can understand. I'm not going to You just got to search for them. No, you don't Jay have to search. Cole. Jay Cole. Oh, no, I do like Wale. So and, I, no, I like him. I can listen to his music. And J. Cole, you can definitely understand. I like J. Cole. I do like him. And he has a message. Who are some of your favorite rappers right now? That's a thinker. Um, <clears throat> My favorite rapper. What? Right now. <laughs> Bomb Nameless. Who is that? Where, where are they from? That's my nephew. Oh, cool. Okay, from Phoenix? Shout out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ever since he's been rapping, I've always been a fan of his music. That's, That's, good. Good. That's good support. It's my cool. favorite rappers Wade, Dylon, Dylon, Dylon. <laughs> Dylon. Dylon. Who is Dylon? Oh, man. The cheesecake. <laughs> yeah, you go get the cheesecake. He was on Puffy's. It was a Puffy show. That was, you know what? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Like when everybody hears a podcast, they're gonna die on that part. Uh huh. Yeah, just it sounds like, his name sounds band. familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. He okay. just named himself as his favorite five, five rappers. He oh, okay. Yeah, oh, they're really? gonna die when they hear that. So I don't remember. That was from making the band. Okay. Making the band. Yeah. I watched that show too. Okay. Okay. I don't remember. Well, definitely. Um, Wade, Golly. Um, yeah, I'm loving this project. Um. Golly. I appreciate that, Super. I am. Uh, this is in my deck right now, straight up and down. This is in my deck. Um, golly, OG rap. Um, and a, a lot of different people right now. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping through a lot of different Any of these people. newer, like, younger rappers that's like what we would probably call um, mumble rap? Is there anybody that catches Please. your attention? Um, you know, I was listening to Designer today. Oh, has, that's the panda. Yeah, yeah I like panda. him. He has a couple of joints I like, even though I really kind of stray away from mumble stuff. But he just seems to do his mumble a little differently and a little more creative. Catchy. Yeah, yeah, than other mumble. Okay. So I think I like three songs from him. So I think that I don't. I guess it's not an accident. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. there's probably other ones, but none of them, none of them come to mind. If I was stuck on an island, I'd pick like. I pick like Nas and then I pick like Ooh, Wale. Ooh, like, yes. Now that's Nas my baby like, daddy. Y'all no, gonna I'm, leave Nas alone. I was just gonna leave y'all just going to I'm not gonna start a fight over here talking about it. Why are you gonna bring my husband into this? Why did you bring my husband? My husband is at the top of the table. See, he can divorce you and leave you, but if I'm the baby mama, we always connect. Nobody They're gonna fight over him and me and him in the private jet going on. One more hot topic for tonight. Y'all know it's actually your daddy. You see that mold, don't y'all both practice? Oh Lord Jesus! <laughs> yeah, this oh my gosh. Anyways, <laughs> she just pissed her off. Put my nose. No, he didn't make me mad. I'm not well, if he your daddy, he your uncle too. <laughs> <laughs> Passionate about something, it makes you want to go back a second try, like go back for a second try. 
So there's a 25 year old that's facing charges after enrolling as a freshman in high school oh, I and posing as a he posed as a homeless Hurricane Harvey victim so they wouldn't ask him for his documents so they would mm-hmm. see how old he is so he could relive his basketball glory days. Mm-hmm. And you know he was out there shoving them kids on the court. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> what I feel about that? Yes. What I feel about that is, dude, sick. Like, something wrong with you. You're a pedophile or something. He dated mommy. a 14 year old, too, during oh. the Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. it gotta be something wrong upstairs. Like, yeah. no. who wants to be. No. Only reason why I would want to be young again is because the bills and right. the Thank responsibilities you. and stuff like that. But go yeah. back to high school, man. Please. Homework. I don't know. Oh, so he went back to high school, not college. You know, no, high school. school. So you, is what, your question is, is there anything that makes us that passionate? Well, too? not really, but okay. I was just saying mm-hmm. that as that. Yeah, lead yeah. to yeah. I was going to say, there's some food that I'm passionate about, and I go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, like, I'm with you. Like, that high school, why would no. you want to go back to high school? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for real, right? Yeah, that's gross. Because you're doing too much at that point. And if you were so great in high school, you should be playing in college and therefore in the league. So if you miss that bus, let it go. Exactly. So was he actually homeless or no? No, he just used that so they won't ask for his his documents. That's the dude right here? Yeah. To get back into high school to play basketball. And the only way to get back without documents. He was 18 or 17. Oh, and said that his parents were homeless. No. No, that he was a Hurricane Harvey so they wouldn't ask. So they lost all their documentation. Um, the can can well, I see him? Where's then, his parents? Who knows? He's 25. Oh, wait, He's grown. Low key, he but uh, my young. kids are grown and I know what they're doing. I wish you would try to. Why are but you? But you're 25 answering? and you got a 14 year old. You dating a 14 year old girl? That's gross. What mm-hmm. could she possibly do? What do you? Yeah. What, what kind no. of conversation? What, it's what? nasty. Like yeah. that's not gonna help your story anymore. You dating somebody fourteen years old? No, he doesn't. Look that old. Old, no, he but doesn't. even that's if you were a senior, why are you dating a fourteen year old? Yeah, mm-hmm. and this it's done. But mm-hmm. so he's sick in the head then. Yeah. Well, they say they didn't have any sexual relations. But it doesn't matter. But you engaged in a conversation yeah. with a fourteen year old and you dirt. Mm-mm. What do you think about that, Super? Uh, golly. Um, <laughs> first of all, before you answer, do you have any daughters? First, first of all, no, I don't have any daughters. Okay. I don't have any daughters. My my kid is at the house. He's 15 mm-hmm. and he's chilling. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he went to a uh, party tonight mm-hmm. and then um, there was a fight that broke out. Oh. So good job, blacks. Mm-hmm. I'm just playing. <laughs> 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 no, so, um, um, golly, I don't. I, you know, I I have to imagine that he didn't believe that it was going to go all the way through, mm-hmm. and then it just started working, and he ran with it. But I, I but just I mean, you know, like 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 she had said, like like um, Sassy B said, I kind of write that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of them, right? Yeah. See, you got to, that's our very <laughs> personal. Name. There we go. Okay, so like Sassy B said, I'm gonna just I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run with that. <laughs> no, yeah. run with it's okay. That that's what they know. Me. Look, that's what they know me by. Anyway. Right, right. Okay. So. Um, yeah, like she said, you know, I can't imagine where, you know, where he's at at, at 25 that says, yo, I want to go play high school again. Like, maybe he thought he was going to flip, like, a deal or, mm-hmm. you know, a, a scholarship or or something off of it. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, you know, at it's some not point, they're going to get his call, ID. Yeah. yeah. It only lasted for nine months. All right, come on, super. Hell no. So, how did they do Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he's still mad. Like, bro, like, I definitely disagree with it. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what got into us. Like, like, I don't know what he's not doing there's at 25. No, there, there's no, like, there's no, like, explanation for that. And no. you're 25 no. and you're trying to live hoop dreams. Well, you can live a hoop dream. You take your ass overseas or something. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> Go to the, go yeah, to the park like all the other people yeah. who yeah. live in the Don't they still the go to Chicken Park on the west side? Do they still Y'all let them finish talking. But, no, but, 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 but to go back to high school? Yeah, that's crazy. Come on, bro. That's crazy. I don't, I don't, why didn't you just go to college? Right. right. He like, didn't yeah. make it. No, but I understand. <laughs> you, go to the junior college. you can use that same, that same system that he used to go to high school to go to like a, like if he was in Phoenix, yeah. go to Phoenix but, but at the end of the day, he knew he wasn't that great. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, he was, he was, no, he was, he was stomping them on the courts in, in high school. He was, at least. <laughs> he was about to get awarded, awarded for some like, Exactly, but they were because, little people. They didn't even yeah. understand. But so, so junior so college, he may have been well as well. Yeah. 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 Hey, but they, they, they didn't do his dental. <laughs> right. <laughs> He is still upset about this. He's like, I can't wrap my brain around it. It's nah. just a no. I like his dental, you. like you, you can tell. Like, or not only that, where did he be? Right, teeth tell the age of yeah. They should. They definitely. Yeah. They probably didn't check them. Your DNA. A lot of things that they, they can take from you. Really shame on the high school. 
Right. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how you get enrolled in the high school to even get on the basketball team to even get set up with classes. So. Yeah, that's that's. Or that's, that even though it took nine months, if you didn't have time. your papers, right? right. You if you think to... about it, you could still mm-hmm. get your birth certificate yeah. and everything yeah. else. So that should have been like a month at, some at time. time right? Yeah. You said he just did to see if he can get away with. it. I think so. Mm-hmm. I think so. And I then think... it went further than he thought. Yeah, and he just ran with it. I, I mean, I think somebody could have. Somebody could have asked a few more questions. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think. Well, he got caught. The of the high school. Like, why do you have a full <laughs> on beard? Like, oh, yeah. How did he get caught? Like, he good. got. <laughs> you good, son. He got caught because his old basketball coach contacted oh, his no. new basketball coach and was like, oh, he was on our team some years back. He's on your team now? Uh huh. Wow. And that's how he did it. He didn't that's say that's a grown caught. man. Well, like years ago, obviously. So he was on he was on that basketball team like eight years ago. That's so yeah, that don't even matter. Yeah, yeah, so that that's how he got caught. That's good, coach. Good for Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> You're not with it, huh? No. Nah, at all. But at 25, nah. why wouldn't you I got a daughter that's 13. Yeah. I'll kill that nigga, man. I'm with you. Right, for real. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> Respectfully. Well, if you just disappeared, I had nothing to do with it. That's all it is. Yeah, that's gross. Man. Yeah, all right. That's... Well, that concludes the first half for the night. We're going to go smack on some tacos. I like me. Sick I'm on here for the elbows. If you hustle what you hustle for, hustle all you want. You ain't finna bubble though. If you ain't out here rubbing elbows, like me, cause I'm out here rubbing elbows. It's the baby face nigga, no face tat. Some Arizona gunslingers from way back. I'm with my West Side bitch, she only talk dubs. Extendo clips, look like Congo drums. I'm out here rubbing elbows. I ride with my kid fall. Gas station, you only need three tongues. Keep the heat close, cloudy from the weed smoke. I'm old school like shell toes, we zip lock and mail those. We back up up at sell dogs. Them wagons and the mail cars. She can't stay focused, she playing with her now. Smashing down baseline from 16 to 24. It's big waxinator, I hustle 24. If you hustle what you hustle for, hustle all you want, you ain't finna bubble though. If you ain't out here rubbing elbows like me, sick of my... Alrighty, welcome back. We're back from rank. I may sound a little sluggish. I don't know if it's what I got in this cup or the little bit of food that I ate. <laughs> But I'm a little, I'm a pep up though. I'm good. I'm straight. So how was the food and the drinks? The food and the drinks was really good. You enjoyed it? Yes, it was great. I appreciate it. Thank you, ladies. You're welcome. You're Whoever welcome. cooked it. I, I you, you, you cooked it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn lie. <laughs> Just to cook. She's a lie. You cooked it? Yes. Yeah. Well, it was really good. <laughs> she cut up some damn vegetables. <laughs> See how people lie? I was a sous chef today. Oh my god. And oh, Sassy B helped. Help. And Sassy B helped. So they, they all cooked. I took pictures. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Mr. TJ Susan, how did you feel? I drank water and it was, it was good. <laughs> what about the food, though? The food was good, too. The food was, the food was great. I, I finished my plate. I, I was going to I, I, I always try to make sure people be finishing my their plates. With the chip. I hit the corner with the fork. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> what? And that little groove. And make that sound. <laughs> with the tip of the fork. Okay. Oh, so that's what we heard. I was wondering what that noise was. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. I thought somebody was, was scratching or something. Oh. oh. My uncle used to say, when he used to eat some good food, like my grandma, if she cooked or something like that, he'd be like, man, Bessie, you must then wash your hands when you cook this. <laughs> 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 No, this is extra seasoning, you know. That's yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I just wiped my ass and started cooking, baby. No, I hope you like it. I have never heard that. No, and I don't think we should ever. <laughs> My grandma, they from Waco, Texas. Yeah. You know, they from the sticks. You mm-hmm. know, so That's dope. I've heard a little bit of everything. everything mm-hmm. you know. Did you grow up not knowing what the heck they were talking about until you got grown? No, nah, I was right off top. It's uh-huh. like you learn a language yeah. when you're a baby. And they talk, no, 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 no. And you already knew what they were saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get it. 
mumbling, stump, all that shit, you start to interpret it. You know what I mean? Me over there talking like that at this people job. <laughs> and never do. And they what might understand. Say, they probably still understand too. Man. <laughs> I never could figure that out. It was too much for thinking for my brain. All right, let's get right on into the rest of this interview. Mr. Wade, I keep wanting to say Wade, but I'm getting it It's right. all good. No, I can know. That's what you go by, Wade, so I have to make sure I say Wade. That's all good. So, do you want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do for the listeners tonight? All right. Do it now. I'm from <laughs> Phoenix, born and raised, Southside. Park South, to be exact. Mm. Uh, I got five kids. Boys, girls. No, six kids. I'm tripping. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that sixth one is like. Is that a baby? It's like a month old or something. No, 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 no. He two. Mm. But I got four boys and two girls. Oh, okay. okay. That's his baby. That's One of them baby monsters got on him now. I have somebody open the door, bro. Go on, boss lady. Right. Boss lady. <laughs> you got to mm-hmm. go ahead and continue. Well, yeah, I'm um, born and raised Phoenix. I got six kids. I went to school in South Phoenix in the Tempe. Mm-hmm. Uh, went, did a little bit of college. I went to the University of Arizona. Oh, you were there? Yeah. Um, say, what I do for a living. I'm a jack of all trades. Mm-hmm. Let's put it like that. Like mm-hmm. I, I love music. I do the music. I got into the music, starting with the music back in the days when my uncle, his dad, used mm-hmm. to play music. He used to have crates and crates of records. Mm-hmm. And uh, we used to just sit there and listen to him, and he'd take us through it. But, you know, that's how I came up. I started DJing. I started doing house parties when I was younger. Mm-hmm. And uh, went from DJing to making beats. Got, got into making beats. And my uncle had a label um, for Life Records and Slave Entertainment. And I used to do various things for him. Uh, pretty much, I used to play basketball coming up. I was in sports. I was a, did all that there. But now, to the present, on a business, mm-hmm. the record label, me and my bro right here, uh, Live Umbrella, dig that records. I'm on a paint business too, so if y'all ever need oh, some okay. paint done, you know, interior, interior, exterior. Whatever you want I mean, us to paint, we'll paint it. We'll paint it. So, so you paint that little spot up there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can hook that up. <laughs> so wait, before you go on, you said four life records. I've heard of them before. Who is your uncle? Dwayne Bowser. Oh, okay. I don't know him, but yeah, I've heard of them before. Yeah, for life, but then they switched it to Slave Entertainment. Mm-hmm. Now they, they're not doing nothing no more. Okay. So how did, is Wade your real name or is that just a stage name? Stage name. My real name is Wade. Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. So that's why you answered either one. Gotcha, After all of that. Because I've been calling you Wade the whole time and then I was saying, Nikki said, said no, one. his name and is. And what did I say? I said uh, his I'm name is you Wade. Wade in the water. That's what you, you Wade. Uh. <laughs> You waiting in the water with Wade? No, I'm just saying. That's how I'm going to remember. I knew, I so where did you come right. up with Wade? Where did that come from? Yeah. Back in the days, my auntie, uh, she called me that. Really, actually, my Aunt Sharon. What's up, Aunt Sharon? Joe, what's happening? <laughs> um, but she called me that back in the days. Like She was like, man, Wade. She said, that's your name. That's your name right there. Yeah, these white people call you Wade. Wade. <laughs> she called me that when I was little, probably like about seven or eight years old, mm-hmm. and it's just stuck, okay. Just okay. stuck with me. Okay. And it's been my alias ever since. <laughs> Not too far off, just take that action yeah. off the E and that damn way. Right? <laughs> I found you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, race to help me. But some people spell it W A D A Y. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. it is what it is. I take it. 
call me Wade, Wade, whatever. <laughs> so I know you mentioned in your earlier in your career you DJ. So when exactly did you start getting into rap? Rap. Back then, like, Even back then? yeah, like 13, 14 years old. I used to dibble and dabble, mm -hmm. try to write raps, you can, know. Can you remember your first rap? I was going to say that. We always had. Um, I cannot it? remember my first rap because it probably took me so long to write it. <laughs> I it over and couldn't get through it. Ripped up the paper, threw mm -hmm. it away. But no, nah, I didn't, I didn't, I, I, I probably didn't make my first ever song mm -hmm. until. I was probably like about 21 or something like that. Okay. Yeah, 21, 22. So what was, okay, go ahead. So, like I listened to one of your songs and it sounds more like a, like a West Coast. Mm -hmm. So what is your like inspiration? Like where do, where do you come from with your rap? Like the N.W.A. era. Okay. Like okay. The Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg is my guy right there. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, Snoop. I, I, can, I can hear that. Yeah, I can Snoop, that. Uh, Dre, you know, the whole, all that. Mm -hmm. Ice Cube. DJ Quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DJ, DJ Quick, Quick. Well, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, DJ Quick. All that so, because thing. rap is changing so much, have you ever <laughs> thought about like changing your style, or you feel you want to be true to to who you are? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be me, mm -hmm. no matter what. Okay, so you won't change to like that. Well, I don't want to say mumble rap, but you know the newer generation rap. You are gonna continue to stay with what? I'm, I'm gonna stay with what 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 works for you yeah. and mm -hmm. your heart. Yeah, I let okay. them, I let them. Stay in their lane. I'm gonna stay in my lane. Okay. Mm -hmm. So speaking, you said Snoop was that was your guy, but he's yeah. like in four lanes. He had a gospel. He mm -hmm. did a reggae. He and oh yeah. So, I'm talking about the '93 Snoop. Okay. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Jim and Juice and, and and all that right there. Okay, okay, that was okay. when he was at his hardest. The last the last Snoop album, I think that was his hardest album. Well, last meal. You know, after that. You know, Snoop just the went pop. It's yeah, like yeah, he went he went everywhere else. Mm -hmm. you know so you're more with the the earlier, okay? Yeah, well, I still rock with him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, I do too. But no, I was just wondering because he's like all over the place, and that's what I kind of like about him too, though that he's like he can, he's versatile. He's the, the, yeah, he's versatile. Um, then my next question is like, how did you guys link up, um, Super and Wade? The kid Lefty. Yeah, big salute out to uh, Lefty. Mr. Kareem Williams, Lefty out there, Real Entertainment News. He called me, um, Lefty called me, and he talked to me about, he said, hey, I'm working with this dude, you know, he's, he's you know, good dude, and, um, you know, I, I, do a, I do a music video show, The Rock the Mic Show, mm -hmm. and he said he wanted to, you know, he wanted to talk to me about that. It was funny, at the time, I was in the hospital, mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and uh, he called me, and he was like, yo, you know, like, you know, we want to see if we can sit down and have a meeting with you. You know, can we can we can we do that? And I was like, Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it now. Come to the hospital. Mm -hmm. So they drove up to the hospital. Like I remember meeting him. I had an IV in my arm at the time. We were having our first meeting, mm -hmm. and I'm talking to him, and you know, he's telling me about what he wants to do with uh, his album listening party mm -hmm. that was coming up, and uh, and that's for this. The yeah, Rubin, okay. That Rubin was an album listening party for for rubbing elbows, and uh, and that was coming up. So we talked there. And then we made a deal right there at the hospital, and um, and then I, I I shot the Rock the Mic show from his album Listening Party. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah, so it worked out great. And then um, you know he had he had originally been working with with Lefty, and uh, you know Lefty covers Lefty covers a lot of things, but he covers a certain area, mm -hmm. and, um, and and there's different things that we do. So Lefty was talking to me, and he wanted to continue to move Wade forward and mm -hmm. you know we, we cover different areas so we we talked for a while and we came together and we were like okay let's talk to Wade and then I moved into more of a management position and Lefty kind of moved into a PR position Okay, gotcha. where Lefty does like a lot of you know PR make sure his posts are popping up on the web and stuff like that mm -hmm. and I'll handle like different shows or you know magazines and stuff like that so he's got some magazines and stuff he's going to be talking about okay. at some point the show mm -hmm. he's popular I hang around him because he's popular, really. Speaking of popularity, <laughs> they got to be popular. Without them, I would I would be the same old way, uh -huh. just in the neighborhood trying to put my music out. Gotcha. But I appreciate 
super and lefty because they like taking my career. Yeah, mm -hmm. they taking me to a whole nother level. That's like awesome. without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. You know, what I, I, mean? I like Wade because like as a, as an artist, you know, it like you know, and I've done artist management before, and I and I kind of try to stay away from it because for me, like not having anything to do with this, but for me, it's almost like babysitting sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, I don't have a problem working out and fulfilling the things that I say I'm going to do, but, but you're not worried say, about the artists doing what they said they're going to do. Well. You know, and with Wade, it's great because it's like strangely enough, the stars line up for mm -hmm. all the things that you would need from an artist to move their career. You so know you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. so, so it makes it easy for me. It makes it a lot easier for me because I can focus on going out there trying to land something if we need a video, I talk to him, yo, we need to shoot a video. And he puts the other video, you know what I'm saying? Yo, we need a clean version. We'll talk to him. Like, it, it's just been, it's been, it's been good. It's really been good. It's mm -hmm. really been good. So, yeah, this is, it's a good situation. Awesome. We got a lot of stuff for him. So, my question, that you were talking about popularity. And then I know before you came, we were looking online. And you got some shout outs from, like, some Paris Hilton. Aubrey and yeah. Aubrey O'Day. Yeah. Aubrey O'Day. Yeah. So, yeah. how did that happen? Yeah, it was um, a conversation with, uh, uh, you know, a meeting that I had, some meetings we, we were having with Lefty, and Lefty used some of his connections mm -hmm. to land some of these beautiful things, mm -hmm. and then sent some emails, mm -hmm. and then moved some stuff around, and then some magic happened. <laughs> he said yeah. magic. Yeah, because that, because, um, what's his name? Perez, I love him. Perez Hilton. Yeah, that is awesome. That is yeah. really awesome. Yeah, I was, I was like, man, like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know what was going on, huh? Nah, he called me right before, like, they was getting ready to post it and stuff. He was like, hey, wait, what you think about this, man? Perez Hilton, you know who that is? I said, yeah, the gay dude. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Not that he's just that he is. Nah, but, 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 but that's, that's what I said though. And you he was like, "What you what you think? What you think about him posing?" And I said, "Well, shit, man, he got a million followers. What you mean? Like, yeah, shit, right. Like if he talks about you, like it's kind of like TMZ in a sense. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. you there. And then um, kind of piggybacking off of what she said, I seen that you took a picture of Warren G. How did that happen? Oh man, my nephew, Bob Nameless, man, he's relentless. Like we went to the car show. We didn't have no, first of all, we didn't have no tickets to get in. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally like we had no tickets to get in. As we walk into the parking lot, we see some homies already there. They got a stand. And he's like, hey, man, what's up? Some tickets. Y'all got some tickets? You know, we <clears throat> get the tickets. We get the tickets. And once we get in there, you know, he ain't satisfied. We didn't got in free. <laughs> <laughs> So Not enough. <laughs> we go to the back, like we go, we go inside where they performing at and stuff by the stage. Man, fuck this, up, man. We finna get backstage. Man, I'm like, man, Bob, man, I'm not even really tripping. We got CDs and stuff. He's like, man, we gotta get back here, man. You gotta get that no, picture that's true. Yeah. with Warren G in there, man. I was like, man, nephew, it's all good. Man, I stepped over here to go get me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I get the beer out here. He's like, hey, man, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on man. It's like, clear. You know what I'm saying? Like, that younger go. generation is. And then he, man, we had backstage passes. passes and all kinds. Of stuff. I'm like, man, how you do? Man, don't worry about it. Come on. Man. <laughs> so, you know, we, we need him on our Yeah, team. that younger generation, though, yeah, I think that they are happen. just, yeah, they make stuff. They They're do not wait up. around. Yeah. There's not a no. Mm -hmm. You may tell me no, but I'm going to go here. And that's what I kind of like, really like. He ain't young, though. He, he's just a couple years younger than me. But still, I but mean, like, what? So he's in his 30s? So like, he's my age now. Yeah. No, don't listen to me. You listen but to me. No, he, he made that happen, though. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. He made That's that cool. happen. Man. Rubbing elbows at his finest. Yeah, and That's... it just, like, really is coming true. So mm -hmm. what Thanks. has been the impact of, like, those, like, the Perez or, yeah, those shout-outs and stuff like that? It brought a lot of attention to me, you know what I mean? You know, you get good and bad attention. You got people with their thoughts of what, what this is and what right. that is. But, they okay, they had a lot to talk about when Perez Hilton hit me up. Like, you got a gay dude endorsing you or some shit like that. Or, what he is. or whatever, you know what I mean? But I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, 
I didn't care about that. You know what I'm right. saying? I really didn't. It, it, it really, like, my music is for the world. Right. Exactly. Gay and straight, whatever you are. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, and, uh, Aubrey that, after that, but you know. when Aubrey O'Day, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know who she, she had to tell us then who she came, was. But then when she gave me a shout out, it was like, now they want to hate even more. Pop, no, no, it was like no. How you back, get back, It's like that. it was like bounce back, like mm -hmm. bam, like and then she said, "Oh, well, her Perez gave you a shout out mm -hmm. and this, this, that." So yeah. that just like sealed the deal, like mm -hmm. yeah. you know, like now nah, I said you can hate me now, you know what I mean? So yeah. it is what it is, but you know, it, I mean, it, it was a good look and, and shit. I appreciate it, man. Like like I say, like it was streams went up. You know that's I mean? good. That's all. Sometimes it's all about like, and that's so funny. Like, like it's like divine intervention. Like when you, this says rubbing elbows. So yeah. like, and that's basically what you've been doing the whole time. Yeah. Self-explanatory. Yeah, you know? that's awesome. In order to make it in anything, whatever you're doing, you, you gotta, have to. You it's about who you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's about who you know. Elbows. Do you want to go ahead and tell us about that project and how it came about, rubbing elbows? Well, the, the project. It really just came out of us sitting. We were sitting, sitting for a minute. We were going to drop a compilation, a live umbrella mm -hmm. compilation at first. But it was it was getting a little bit too hectic. Like, my niece, she had her, 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 her little life issues that she had to go with. She had to uh, give birth. So mm -hmm. that kind of, like, X'd that out. But she's still on the album, a couple songs. Mm -hmm. So, I went. She's a singer, or yeah, she's a singer rapper. Okay. And um, like a couple people, like we lost to prison and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, free night train, free mail. Um, after that, I started sitting back and thinking. I was like, man, we got all this music up in here, mm -hmm. and like uh, I had a lot of songs in there at the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do a compilation. I'm just going to do something and do an album, and I'm going to name it Rubbing Elbows mm -hmm. because I got a lot of artists from Arizona on there mm -hmm. featured. Mm -hmm. So that's how that came about. I just did it that way, which it made sense, and everybody said this is how it should have been anyway from the gate because mm -hmm. my initial plans was to do like a Dr. Dre the Chronic mm -hmm. compilation, and it was me featuring a whole bunch of people. So it just kind of... Pulled back in 360. Huh? You number five. Why you tell me? And ice is on there. Then wait a minute, and ice is on there too. Look what time yes. it is. 11, 11. Always, 11, 11. We catch that number, guys. All the time. Casino. I always get that number. Give me a handshake. Oh, Give me some that. good luck. No, I get that number. Like, yeah, we, get, we get that a lot of times. I get this number. It's so weird. Okay. So did but, you produce any of the tracks in your record? I didn't produce none. My my cousin, main ingredient, mm -hmm. main ingredient, Merv the third, and Southwest the performer, they're the producers on there. But main ingredient is pretty much the guy that did this whole album. He touched the whole album. Mm -hmm. He like one of he is the best producer out here in Arizona. Yeah, period. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Southwest sound. I put him up against anybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You so I have good. a question. So now you have all the shout outs and you have super um, managing you. Like, so how do you feel about the follow up? Like, what's your next move? Are you going to go to other states? Like, get your stuff played on different radio stations? I've been like, in what's Atlanta. Your next move? They rubbing elbows in Atlanta. They rubbing okay. elbows in Chicago, Detroit, mm -hmm. okay. uh, Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a chain reaction with his project. Like, there's, I mean, it's out now. In the of course, we've done some stuff, but there's still some stuff that we're working on that hasn't happened. He's at a show coming up on uh, June 9th at the Road Bar. Okay. He's uh, on the front of the new, the next issue of International Music Magazine. Oh, His cool. face is on the cover of that. Okay. Um, he's in another magazine after that, so shout out to Channel 43. Um, so there's a lot of things, and then there's, there's meetings that I have with his PR, and we sit there and come up with new ideas like okay well how can we how can we continue to make this and thing, push him to the next level yeah, continue okay. to make it blow and just like I said like going back to him as an artist is great working with him because he's an artist that'll give you what you need 
to to be able to, to do that like chain that. reaction, you know. And Lefty comes up with a lot of a lot of great ideas and stuff like that. And I know I I, I think up some some cra- you know. I still feel like I need to conquer the world. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I, I look at it like you know. I would always say you know when you're inside the car, you know. It was Cat Williams. He made a joke. He was like, you know, I have you know people, you know, black people. We drive up to the bus stop. You know, we get our rims clean, and then we have to ask the people at the bus stop what the rims look like because we're inside the car. You know, <laughs> and my, my mindset is like I'm inside the car driving, so I don't look at what it looks like from the outside. Mm-hmm. So we could be winning, and I and I know you're not paying attention to, but I'm not paying attention to that because I'm shouldn't. trying to drive the car. Exactly. Yeah, I'm trying to get us somewhere. So, so, so that's kind of where we're at. So with him, it's still continuous. It's like. Okay, this is great. Like the stuff we've done is great. But you, let's get to the next. Yeah, so yeah, I have a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of stuff in the pipeline, and a lot, and we're still sitting still down work. every week coming up with new stuff and new things and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't seen a project down here, short of you know maybe the ones that got signed to like labels and stuff like that. But if you notice, when a project comes out in this state. They talk about the project for a month and then it disappears. And it disappears yeah. We've been we've been on rub and elbow since sure. January, sure. since before it dropped, and we have a new video coming out for a single, and we're going to be pushing this thing until mm-hmm. 2019, 2020. You know, and it's planned out like that. It's planned out. This is what we're going to do next. This is okay. what we're going to. You do have next. to stay above, uh, yeah. uh, above the curve. Or, yeah. So I haven't okay. seen an album that just continues to move out here. You know, and that's because we're sitting there thinking about, okay, this is what people aren't doing. This is what you can't sleep on it, yeah. Right. So we're gonna keep doing this. We're gonna do this to bring it back. We're gonna do this to bring it back. So rubbing elbows. It's it's funny. I bump into people. (laughs) I bump into people, and I haven't physically spoken to them about it. And when I start talking about why Dave's rubbing elbows, they all start rubbing elbows. (laughs) So they all heard it. Yeah. You know, I told them I was at the movie theater one time. Little kids running around with a live umbrella t-shirt, with a t-shirt on, mm-hmm. at the movie theater. Mm-hmm. I was watching Black Panther. Yes, go ahead. That was going to be my next question. If you, when you're done, if you can go over that, because I was curious what that was about, the L and the umbrella. Oh, go ahead. I should let him do that. Oh man, Ice, come here, Ice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I no, don't spill nothing. I prove it wrong. This, this, wrong. this, 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 this is this. He, he I came up with the, the live umbrella <laughs> brand, and I just pushed with my bro. Yeah, because I saw it on the album, on the album, and I saw it on your shirt, oh, and, so he's and on one. the hat. Yeah. Do you have a page as well? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I knew I liked it. We page. elbows right I now. I think I started liking your page today. The live, the live standing for like being active in your pursuits, like actively chasing whatever it is you're trying to do. If, if you play basketball, you're in the gym every day, you're actually doing it. Mm-hmm. And the umbrella, it symbolizes. I'm a little nervous, you know. No, it's all good. Because I was watching you on YouTube Bro. today. I should have known I knew you. Bro. But the, hey, the umbrella symbolizes. Uh, 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 what the umbrella symbolizes? No, you it's, tell it's, us. It's shelter. Shelter. Protection. 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 Right. The umbrella symbolizes shelter, protection, like protect yourself mentally, physically, mm-hmm. spiritually. Mm-hmm. And it's also a covenant to anything on the umbrella is connected and, and, and it's protected. Like a family. You know I mean? So we under the umbrella too, sitting pretty? Shoot, I am. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? It's so funny because I was doing... He gonna <laughs> Then he gonna get electrocuted. Just, just make a little bit more room for us under the umbrella. I was doing the research on him today and then I came across you. And you got stuck. And I was like, shit. She got stuck. I didn't even know you was a mom. She tried to get up under the umbrella. She's trying to rub elbows with him. Under the umbrella. That's why I unlocked that door for you. (laughs) No idea. I I can't remember what I found on YouTube, but it was something about you. And you're in the. uh, And I was like, well, how are they linked? I was. And then, so then I went back to this and I read this and I was like, okay, so they must be linked some kind of way. And then he mentioned Umbrella Earl. Thank you for Umbrella Man. (laughs) (laughs) You've got a whole three names since you've been in here. Y'all can leave me. I'm almost caught up to him. (laughs) (laughs) I already knew Boss Man was coming, but yeah, I did. I really did. I was doing my research and I did come across him as well. Today. So I have a question for you because you have a lot of um, 
individuals on the I album can't with see you. I wish I could see. Do you want my glasses? Oh, do like I do. Take a picture and then zoom it in. Okay. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, see, that's what I told her to do. Take a picture and then you zoom it. Um, but what is, if someone hadn't heard of Rubbing Elbows before, what would be the one song that you say, listen to that song so I can get you hooked? Oh, that's a good question. He like all of them. But <laughs> you have to pick one. But don't look at those people because they're all in. They're all on the on so the pick song. One so for yourself. yeah, pick one. Buy it, burn it, bootleg it. Bump my know? shit. Tell us what that's about. First one. That's the, the first. What, what are we buying? Bump my shit. Bump my shit. He just oh. saying the song is bump my shit. Bump. Oh, okay. That's we gonna bump it on the way home. And then once you listen to that song, I guarantee it's going to get your attention. So it's going to keep me up all the way home because I got a long ride. It's going to get your attention and you're going to listen to the whole album after that. Okay. So do you got to dance? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, he's playing that. Play that on the way home. Uh-huh. <laughs> Y'all might see me like, in South Phoenix rolling. Buy it, burn it. <laughs> no, I was thinking, I said, you know how I always play music on Sassy Sims by B? I'm about to have to buy it, burn it. I'm about to have to tell it to bump my shit. Bump my shit. So I have a question. Um, so I got to go back to the umbrella man because he's fine. Oh, so the oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. No, I am going to bring it in. Yes. So explain to me, okay, how it says Live Umbrella Entertainment did that records present. So did he like? How does that work? Like, is it like this? Like, like? No, we both. Stuff? We we all of that. Yeah, he's both like, I got part of umbrella. We both thing. umbrella. We both we 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 both CEOs of the yeah. whole entire. So the thing. whole entire. So yeah. it's really like a whole thing, and then. So dig that record. It's underneath the live it's umbrella. It's underneath the live umbrella. Or? It's all the same. Yeah. So it just goes by two different it's, names. It's, it's, it's like company. him. Live umbrella entertainment is a mother company. Like okay. We got a oh. clothing company too. We, got you. We got clothing. Uh, you uh, need a cup. Music. I got you like, we got other things. <laughs> while we're still under the live umbrella entertainment. You know, Shoot. dig that is a. We're well, our next party. You know? Yeah. No, I'm serious. Okay. We're gonna talk about the cup. So okay, I get it. I get it. I get yeah, because he mentioned umbrella earlier about the fifty, the fifty mil, and I'm like, okay, this umbrella. Yeah, because it, it um, came back when, like I said, when I was researching you, I found him, but then I was like, well, I'm confused, and then I had to look at your album cover, and then I was like, okay, well, maybe they're all together. So it's just one thing that presents you, right? Okay. So and like, like, like the dig that records. It's it's like the umbrella. Live Umbrella, we all bosses. Mm-hmm. You know how many mechanisms it takes to raise an umbrella. Mm-hmm. Okay. Up under the umbrella, we all are. And all this is just bosses. your project off, springing off from these two. From this. Right. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Right. Okay, I got to know. So, I'm going to tell you. So, when I first, like, when you first like handed me the CD, umbrella. I was like, why is he giving me a CD of T.I.? <laughs> 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 then I was like, oh, that's Oh, cool. yeah. <laughs> but you like T.I. And then, especially from you know when he does that little yeah. move? T.I. is my husband. So oh, gosh. Here we go again. Every show I got a mentioned. lot of husbands. Don't be looking at T.I. <laughs> <laughs> T.I. is my husband. Don't, but don't I had move. to think about it. I was like, wait. Why he give me a CD of T.I.? But, okay. Now mm-hmm. I know it's what it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, okay. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, when the next actual show? show. You said it was going to be June one here. June 9th at Grove Barn, Scottsdale. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Umbrella Man will be there. Umbrella Man. <laughs> <laughs> it will be there. Umbrella Man will be there. In the umbrella building. Man, now she done bossed you all night, umbrella man. Didn't yeah. want to give you a glass. Yeah, no, she didn't. And yeah, she locked you at the door. <laughs> I opened the door back for him. I opened the door. Yeah, back. but you were going to. I know you put some million shit on there. Was all messed up today. All in that man. Oh boy. Rephrase that, please. Don't be sliding up in his DMs. <laughs> I couldn't find your um, Instagram, so we gotta find. Look, we gotta find Instagram for you guys. Why are you shipping 
your shoulders. I'm just playing. We got to get back to you. We always act. We just act the silly. Yes. Yeah, they're really That is all good. It's all <laughs> good. You probably Wait, like, I had no idea start, what I was we was on break, and he told me, he said, I looked at y'all profile, and I knew y'all was going to come over here, and y'all was going to start some shit. <laughs> <laughs> He said he looked all over. I think he said, "Oh God, well, I gotta get you, ready." But you didn't see us though. No, he said he seen our videos and stuff. Um, and he was like, "I know I'm gonna go over there and they for the app All our stuff on Instagram. Uh, he knew uh, what he was getting himself into. Yeah. Was it bad? No, 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 we're good. no. I was gonna say, we're no I'm talking about how we're doing them now. We're good. Huh? No, no, y'all, y'all good. But he was ready for us. He said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you have to have a pep talk, like your affirmations and. So you bring your, <laughs> so you brought your goons with you to handle us. To handle us. I, had I, to, I, I had to bring yeah. back up. Yeah. <laughs> So we do like to gang up on men. So yeah, yeah. yeah wherever I ride, this, 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 hey, this. Well, uh, they, I said, well, how many is coming? Because I'm getting out the martini. They're like just one other one, and all y'all showed up. Okay. <laughs> y'all pulled out the good charger. <laughs> <laughs> y'all opened the door, <laughs> and I whispered back to my sister. I said, "Well, y'all get the good charger." <laughs> Wrap it up before we yeah. act too foolish. Oh my gosh, I just have one last question. <laughs> so, how no, this is a question I had. So, do you have a lot of support from like your family members? I can see your fam- friends kind of and family. Well, cousin, you got yeah, Nipsey Russell over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nipsey Russell over here. <laughs> <laughs> All I got to do is put some braids in his hair and those Nipsey. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah. She trying to take all the men's bringer. Oh, no, it's only one. Please stop. But what you mean? Exactly. Please stop. I get uh, <laughs> yeah, I get, I get, I get huge, huge support from my family and my friends. You know, I get a lot of support, but more so like with this album, I'm, I'm getting support from everywhere. Yeah, the South Side, mm-hmm. West Side, this, the city, like the city, getting behind this project, and mm-hmm. I'm, and I'm really. That's awesome. So, you know, well, I went in the club last night to do a show, and they shot me out, and rubbing elbows, they, I felt like Which a club celebrity. Was it? What was it, Phoenix Night Phoenix Club? Phoenix Night Club. Yeah. What, that time? Because it's hard yeah. to get Shouts people Shouts out to Young Westwood, Phoenix. man. He, he, he lit that up last night, man. Uh, what's the dude, MC Bear? MC Bear. Yeah, MC Bear. Yeah, salute. salute. Yeah, salute, man. Definitely. Can I have she the last question? Lisa, I'm afraid. The last question. Can I have the last question? So how has your life changed? Have, have you noticed a big difference in women, like, as far as Girl, the women's attention? Oh, oh, you, people can still be looking at him if he got a woman. If these women he don't have a woman. He got a friend. He got a friend. So how has how that changed? So how has that changed at all? Or has it? Mess this man stuff. I'm going to tell you like this. It ain't changed. Not 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 one bit, you know what I'm saying? Because they all yeah. they all they all know I ain't I ain't got shit. Like what am I? I, don't, I mean, I but it doesn't any. matter. A lot of women now they they really like are smart, so they look at the potential. And the then potential, they yes. Mm-hmm. Nah, exactly. huh? I don't. I, yeah. No, nah, it ain't it ain't changed. Now, if you see me with Caribe uh, Divine or somebody <laughs> like that, or. <laughs> Somebody, or Amber Rose. Yeah, <laughs> then you know my situation didn't change. Mm-hmm. But, but you, you should no longer have a friend, you got a woman. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a woman with the a, a woman with the bag. Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, but no, nah, it ain't it has it has it, it, it hasn't changed. Like I I try to holler at if I like say, well, this off the record, like say it's, if it was somebody I tried to holler at somebody from back in the day. If he did. A crush, yeah, like if I did or whatever, they still gonna tell me, man, wait, get your ass out of here, like. Oh, oh, but you know I... what? And when you get where you going, then when they bring their little raggedy asses over there, yeah. you tell them to get your ass over there, mm-hmm. get the same shit they telling you today. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Remember me, Remember me? Rachel. From yeah, you no, know, you know that's not one thing I say, girl. He tried to get at me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, just keep doing you though. Don't let I wouldn't know. Yeah. I heard they got a secret society and shit about what? The, about what? The dudes posting dudes on, on. Oh, they do have a website. Oh, Phoenix? Uh, Are you talking yeah. about the Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm gonna tell it. Oh. What are they doing? Go ahead. They doing me. this thing. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we should say it on here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk yeah. about. We'll talk about it later. Off the record. But I got home. Yeah, we'll talk about it off the record. But I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah. I seen it. Let's yeah. get off the record. 
Let's we'll sign out then. So no, because we no, have to sign out. I don't want. Yeah, no, I don't no. want no problems. We are good girls. Yeah, yeah, but I, but yeah, you know, so I don't, I don't, I don't be on no thirsty shit. Yeah, you can't be because yeah, it is. Some, yeah, I don't yeah. be on no it's thirsty. Too much now, girl, women thirsty. are trying to catch men up. Like too bad. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's a whole job. For Look, he's like, don't let me see you. Well, let me know. Wait a minute. Super's over there, like reminiscing, like they sure the hell is. <laughs> That's why I'm single now. Like, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> All right, now, Florida. <laughs> Good time. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. get back. All right. Okay. So, so before we end the night, do you have any shout outs that you would like to give? Then on top of that, Just after that. that Give us your social media so people can follow you. All right. I want to get a shout out to uh, my live one brother family. Woo woo! Uh, my bro Ice Slink, Blaze, Bomb Nameless, my niece Big E, uh, Hayes, my nephew, uh, Night Train, Mel. Um, big shout out to my man, my manager right here, Super, mm. my guy. Mm. Lefty, Merv the third, main ingredient. Um, all my kids, all, so all my baby mama mamas. Bring with you? you know what? When you win an award, you're going to have to get cliff notes. Cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> so you said baby, mom, baby mamas? All my baby mamas. Oh, but Jesus. You know what I'm One, saying? Two, three, four, five, six. Huh? He t- oh, Super told me to stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you know, shit. This, uh, my family. Everybody who's supporting Rubbing Elbows, you know, um, you can find me on Facebook at Wade A. Dansby Jr. on Facebook. Um, Snapchat, you can find me on I Be On My Shiznit. Um, at Dig That Records on IG. And Wade Dig That on, um, what is that, man? Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, well, okay, so you are on Twitter as well. On Twitter. And uh, shit, if you don't want to do all that, just Google me. Yeah. Rubbing elbows. Wait. Awesome. I'll pop awesome. right up. Well, thank mm-hmm. you. I thank oh, you guys. Nice. I thank you guys. You beautiful <laughs> ladies for I having me. I hope you me. had fun with us tonight. <laughs> oh, yes, I had fun. <laughs> I, had, I had a lot of fun. We do act serious sometimes. No, y'all, 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 good people. Y'all, good people. Appreciate the food, the hospitality, everything. You know, it's like this ain't gonna be my first time. I know it ain't gonna be my first time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you always want yeah, yeah, Y'all gotta have. When it, I show up at that damn concert, you better. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we got you. We got you. Right. This is Auntie T to the E. You don't remember me. You got, you got to hit, hit this man up no, right I'm here. I'm gonna hit Umbrella Man. What he I said, said. Oh, Lord All right, Brother Man. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Probably young enough to be my son. Wait, how old did you get? Um, how old are you? Don't give her eye contact. No, just tell and me how old. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know if I need to stop or not. How old are you? No. Thirty-six. Oh yeah. He, he is too young for that. No, he ain't. Cougar. Go ahead, Super. Um, Let's sign out. Yeah. Uh, you can see in your shoulders. <laughs> shimmy, shimmy. One, two, three. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just kidding. That's dope. Uh, right. I mean, definitely. Big shout- <laughs> Run for the hills. She needs a hug, right? <laughs> oh, Let before- the man sign out, y'all. Okay, Super. Super That's sign dope. out. That's dope. Um, yeah, um, yeah, you can catch Wade. June 9th at Rogue Bar in Scottsdale. You can get it at myself or you can get it at Day for tickets and we'll, we'll make sure you guys get them $10 ahead. They get a free copy of the album. If you don't have it, you get a free copy of the album. So, um, yeah, if you guys are looking for me, TJ. <laughs> we looking. Look, what day? If you guys are looking for me. Oh, Lord, here you go with this stuff. Oh, she ain't getting comfortable. Wait. I can't get comfortable. You got a thousand AKA, so let's get ready. Come on. <laughs> Write it down, uh, pen and paper. You can catch me at TJ Soup on Instagram, at Radio Super everywhere, at Rock the Mic Show everywhere, um, Super Hype on Twitter, or, you know, anywhere on Facebook and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? We're not hard to find. Um, this was beautiful. Of course, big salute out to you guys. Thank big you. Big salute out to Wade. Of course, the whole Live Umbrella team has been beautiful working with Wade. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of stuff on the table. Big salute out to uh, my partner on this project, Kareem Lefty Williams, Real Entertainment News, celebrity blogger. Uh, big salute out to 
Miss Lisa Arenas, uh, Rod Dollar, my dude GJDN3, Soul West Film Fest. We got a lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff happening. Um, YDA's got a lot of stuff happening. So mm -hmm. you guys will continue to see tap that in. pop up. Yeah, tap if in. you guys happen to be downtown next Thursday, I am going to be Thursday the 24th, whenever it was drops. Okay. Thursday the 24th, um, I'm going to be hosting an event at Onyx Art Gallery. Oh, we just went there, didn't we? Yeah. Dope. Mm -hmm. For something. For Cat, for, um, for um, um, Cali, Cali Cat. Oh, was it was Cali Cat sipping, uh, sipping slang. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sipping, sipping, sipping slang. <laughs> Onyx Art Gallery will be there on the twenty fourth. This Thursday, this coming up Thursday, May twenty fourth. Mm -hmm. So uh, come check. That's it a out. nice venue too. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice spot. The owners are great. Uh, Vernon and Kathy, we see you guys out there. So it's dope. That's how you find me, and uh, and and look for Wade, and look for Live Umbrella. And he's got a video and a single that just dropped. The video's coming soon. Can't ball like yeah, us. Track it down. Yo, Westwood. Lasers in the joint. Why day? We chilling. Can't ball like us. I yeah. enjoy it. Rubbing oh, elbows. Yeah. Buy it, burn it, bootleg it. This was fun. Just bump my shit. First I was like, ooh, it's a whole bunch of folks. And then I was like, okay. We I got to get you guys on. I got to get you guys on um, one of my joints. I'll talk about it when we get off the air. Oh, okay. cool. Ooh. We'll be there. Because we are... Um, and we can actually get dressed. We actually... Yeah, because we never get dressed. We always either had a, um, a hat. I was telling him outside we were... Because he was asking why we don't go live. Because we never get dressed. Because we work. We, we work in and... and, and, we and, set up and so last week we went to LA for our first time being on someone else's podcast. Very nice. So if you do bring us on, it will be the second yeah, time I'm that we actually... Yeah, definitely bring you guys on. Oh, yeah. it's on. I had already planned it. I just oh, hadn't cool. talked to you about it. Okay. No, he needed to meet it. us first and say... <laughs> and say <laughs> no, we are all crazy. No. We talk just, crazy, but you can tell once oh, you no, meet no, us. No, no, no. Why was like clear? I'm like, okay, I'll tell him about it. All right, Excellent. so now we can talk. Most of y'all are sick of shit going on over there. Do somebody no, need to sit good. between y'all? <laughs> <laughs> why you no, texting? So, no, so, but no, I'm gonna yeah. bring you guys in the Rock to my show. Yeah, it's a music video show. We shoot it live on video, and we get We're to rap and stuff on live. If y'all want to, if you guys want to bust rhymes, if you guys want to bust rhymes, because I know I looked her up, and I know that you know back then she got the. You know what I'm saying? She was out there spitting the verses and stuff like that too. So I, was the I know I definitely want to. <laughs> no, but that would be excellent. It would be excellent. Yeah. Just write me out some couple lines. That's what we try to use our platform for, and yeah. I mean that would be nice to be on somebody's oh, yeah. platform. Oh yeah, no, it's it's I, I I thought of this a long time ago. I just want to talk to you guys. No, you just have to meet us. Just go ahead. And he wants to make sure we put <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, we are officially crazy. We are crazy, so we're welcome. But we know how to act. We know how to behave. Let's go follow. No, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. No, man, let's track you down and just pop up on it. You <laughs> invite us to it. Yeah, we gonna find you. <laughs> you trying to sign out? I'm gonna yeah, let yeah. y'all crazy self so sign out because y'all ain't gonna stop. Sassy B, I'm out. T two E. It's Kimmy. We out. It's your girl Navarra and the K. We will talk to y'all later. Thanks once again. Ooh, ooh. Thank you guys. Hit the dough. I'm out here working, making moves, chasing bread for show. Live umbrella, dig that record, yeah, I'm CEO. Waxing E Rock on the track, you know this shit go. Part the way, we got some real ones kicking in the dough. Sauce, I rep the bowls, don't get it mistaken, ho. Uh, uh, one time, yeah, that's for my bro. Bullshit ain't nothing, man, we out here rubbing elbow. You need some work, hit me up, I got it for the low. We popping tags about the back, can you see it though? I don't rush, this my hustle, I just take it slow. About to put the city on, it ain't been done before. 
the show, huh? And tell my comrades to give it up. Nigga, where you from? I'm from the hood, nigga, quit the box. If you hustle, what you hustle for? Hustle all you want, you ain't finna bubble, though. If you ain't out here rubbing elbows like me, sick, I'm out here rubbing elbows. If you hustle, what you hustle for? Hustle all you want, you ain't finna bubble.